Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how I created this 3D text effect in Adobe Photoshop. We are starting by creating a new document, 4000 by 3000 pixels. First thing to do is to add a colorful image, increase the size if needed, create a new layer, then select the mixer brush tool. Go to brush settings and set the spacing to minimum. Once you've done that, you need to load the mixer brush with color. You can do that by holding the Option or Alt key and click on a colorful spot on the image. You will see the selection on the top menu has changed. You can change the shape or the size of the brush on the brush settings by right clicking. In addition, you can edit the settings of the mixer brush tool at the top menu. But make sure that the sample load layers is thick. Then you can start drawing the letters. It may be a bit slow because your computer is trying to make the brush based on the pixels and the settings. It will be better to create a new layer for each line because it will be much easier later for the shadows. This process will be much easier with a drawing tablet but with mouse will work too. Continue with all their letters and make sure each one is on a different layer. Once you have drawn all the letters, you can hide the background photo and add a solid color as a background. To create some shadows, you need to add a clipping mask to each layer. Then you can select the brush tool and with a smooth black brush, start drawing the shadows. You will probably need to add some shadows in specific areas and you can do that by making a selection with a pen tool. So select the pen tool and create a path where you'd like to have the selection. Then right click and click make selection. Then click OK. Add shadows on all the letters. Then you can add some highlights and signs to create some more depth. You can do that using the same way you did for the shadows, but this time use white color. Once you're done with the highlights, you can add some more details. You can do that by creating a path with a pen tool. Then right click, select stroke. Then on stroke path, select the brush and click OK. It will probably not appear how you'd like, because you need to change the settings of the brush tool. So with the brush tool selected, you can right click and change the shape or the size of the brush. Add more highlights on all the letters. You can use the pen tool to create some more details and also add some masks to create some more depth like hiding some parts of the lines and details. Then you can create a clipping mask to the line detail to add some shadows. 
you can make it more realistic by adding a shadow of the actual line. By duplicating the layer of the line, erase the areas that you don't need and change it to black color. Add some more lines to make your design look more interesting. Now you can add some more color to the letters. So choose a vibrant color, create a new clipping mask for each letter and color with a brush tool. Once you've done that, you can add some shapes to give some more depth. So what you can do is create an illusion using some masks. Hide some parts of the shape so a part of the letter will seem to be in front of the shape. Then try to add some shadows on the inside part with the brush tool. Once you have completed the letters, you can add some texture on the background or on the shapes. 